Hello, oh brilliant one, Simon T. Bailey with your daily spark. Yesterday, I shared with you customer love is a mindset, and I want to build on that today by sharing with you another brand that I have tremendous respect for. If you have not experienced Culver's, which is based out of Wisconsin, they are throughout the United States, they are a fantastic brand who is known for its butter burgers and its frozen uh, custard. And what's so interesting about the Culver's brand as a food establishment is that it starts at the top. I had a chance to meet Craig Culver, who's the chairman of the organization. And what I discovered is not only does he love the brand, but he loves his people and it permeates throughout the organization. Here's the whole deal. When an organization, a business, loves its employees, it starts at the very top and permeates throughout the organization. Because all of a sudden, men and women recognize that they work for a leader who sees them as a human being instead of a human doing. So if you want to create a customer love environment that ultimately impacts your customer, which drives loyalty, which pays all the bills, keeps the lights on, it starts with, do you love your employees? Because employees are customers too. And when organizations and businesses love their employees, go to the very top of the organization because you cannot give what you don't have, you cannot be who you've not become, and you cannot give what you don't receive. I recognize that when I was a leader in some of the different organizations that I've worked for, is that I didn't always come from a place of love, I came from a place of it is all about me. And I was probably one of my greatest failures as a leader. But when the light bulb switched on, when I had the eureka moment, I said, what? I realized that I had to change my behavior because if I didn't, <laughs> Disney was going to invite me to find my happiness elsewhere. So here's the deal. Number one, leaders love your employees, figuratively, not literally. Number two, how you show up every single day sends a message because everything speaks, every email, every text, every conversation. And is it reinforcing that men and women are valued and appreciated? And then finally, number three, for all, all of you who are saying, Simon, give me something I can do today. Say thank you to the men and women who work in business who come alongside you and your for-profit, non-profit, let them know that they are valued. And when you know everyone's appreciation language, uh, sometimes they want to receive it in private uh, instead of uh, publicly. So whatever that is, the ability to ensure that people feel loved and valued and hugging them with your words, that's where customer love starts, okay? So tune in tomorrow. I've got another company to share with you. And then later on in the week, I'm gonna give you my book recommendation that I highly recommend and also Spark of the Week, okay? I'm really excited about Daily Spark. I hope you are as well. Please reshare this video if you believe that it will benefit someone else. And I wanna let you know I love you and I believe in you. And there's not a darn thing you can do about it. Go forth and create customer love.